my video. Hey everybody, Sadiqi Ray here coming to you from my downtown, well actually it's not quite downtown, my West LA photo studio. And today I wanted to talk to you creative types. Those of you that have a creative bone in your body that are maybe in a creative business or maybe you're not in a creative business and that's the problem. But to uh, quote my dear friend and coach, Samantha Hartley and via Dr. Seuss, how being the youest you is the best option for those of us that are creative. So here's how this came about. I am going to be doing a class certifying people in soul portraits, spiritual disclosure. But the reason I wanna to talk to you about this is because why that's in my heart to do is that I struggled for so many years in corporate America trying to fit in as a photographer. And here's the irony is that I always hit one, one end of the spectrum or the other. And one end of the spectrum looked like this. I'd have all these cameras around my neck. I'd have the press badges and people would be like, so is that what you do for a full-time living? Like you're a photographer? And I was like, what part of this do you not get is professional photographer? But what that was reflecting back to me was that I had a really hard time feeling like I was worthy as a photographer, mainly because it was a man's world. The other dilemma that I really ran into as a photographer is that all of my images kind of just felt like they were 2D. I had the connection with the person when I was taking the photo, but then when I would actually look at the photo, I was like, it's good, but it kind of feels like sloughed off skin. It didn't really feel relevant to how connected I felt with that person. So it wasn't until I photographed the Dalai Lama and had this like massive epiphany about being seen that I really understood what a 3D image is. So a 3D image is something that brings you beyond the dimension of the 2D portrait or headshot, and it brings you into that person's eyes, it brings you into that person's soul. And when I realized that I was an intuitive using the camera as a tool, that's when my business just completely exploded because all of a sudden I was offering a transformational process to people, the ability to see into who they really were with something that they really needed, which was a headshot or a portrait. So why I'm telling this to you is that I think that there's a lot of us creatives out there that feel like they're too much. Oh, the other, port the other story I wanted to tell you was I was working for this major corporation and I kept getting like all these national marketing awards, these awesome awards. And I got, <laughs> this makes me laugh and kind of want to cry at the same time. I got called into my supervisor's office and she literally said, you're too much of a rock star. You don't fit in here. We need, we need you to be like everybody else so that we get consistent results. Boom, there it was. It just affirmed that feeling of like, I'm dangerous. I'm too much, people don't understand me, I have to like rein myself in so that I fit in because I need this corporate job to pay the bills, blah, blah, blah. If that sounds familiar to you, if you feel stuck not being able to express all of who you are and you have a vision but you don't know how to channel it and you know you have intuition but you don't know how to trust it, I have the answer, I really do. I wish that I had me 35, 20, even 10 years ago to sit me down and be like, you don't have to fit in. You don't have to be like everybody else in the photography industry, in the coaching industry. You have unique skills, you have a unique calling, you have a unique vision, and there are people that specifically will pay you more money for this than this. So here's what it looked like when I was doing headshots, even the best of them, even photographing the Dalai Lama, I wasn't even making $60,000 a year. I really wasn't, but I was doing what I loved and I got to travel all over the world and that was awesome. I also got to teach at Minneapolis College of Art and Design, which I loved, but the paycheck wasn't there. And it wasn't until I really went through a lot of deep interpersonal work, hired some great coaches, and learned that really I'm an intuitive with a camera. I don't need to put out like a neon psychic sign to anybody, but that's, that's if you wanna use a catchphrase, that's the secret sauce. So if you're looking for a safe place, a community to express all of who you are, if you want to take your creative vision 
take your passion about being intuitive and learn how to focus them, then we need to talk. I will be talking so much more about this because I'm like, I'm on fire about the soul portrait and teaching it to other people. Um, and if you're intuitive and you're really looking for a way to express yourself, I'm telling you, the soul portrait is amazing. So I hope this was helpful. If it resonated with you, either instant message me or put something in the comment section about how this how this has happened to you, how like you've been too much for corporate America, maybe you've never felt like you fit in and that you've been trying to fix yourself. So I'm here to tell you there is nothing to fix. All you have to do is, as my friend Samantha says, and my coach, be the youest you that you can be. And that, my friends, is where the gold is. That is where the satisfaction is. That is where the passion is. That is where the love for life is. And that is where the money is. So I hope this inspired you. Let me know. Again, instant message me if this is relevant to you or just write in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in here on the FB and I will be back tomorrow. Thanks, thanks Samantha.